Well, I don't know where to start, to be honest with you. I'm just going to give my very brief thoughts on Everton nil, Norwich City 2. Today we lost at home to bottom of the table, Norwich City, in what was just one of the worst displays I've seen from an Everton side in years. It was just so bereft of any passion, any belief, any determination, any effort. It There was just nothing about us today. Um, I mean, no disrespect at all to Norwich when I say, you know, they, they do look like a team that you'd expect to be in and around the relegation zone, but they were definitely the better team today, which tells you all you need to know about Everton. From the first whistle, they weren't good enough. Um, I struggled to pick out a player today that did much for us. Um, I I wasn't a hundred percent made up with the starting lineup. Um, few of those players that are in the team at the moment are there through injuries. Um, the likes of Morgan Schneiderlin, I don't think we'd we'd be seeing. Obviously, we're missing Gomez enormously. That goes without saying. But and other key players as well. But there's just no excuses. How many games we've lost this season? Two. Two games, you know, off the top of my head, losing 2-0 at home to both Sheffield United and Norwich, two of the newly promoted sides. We lost 3-1 away at Bournemouth. We lost to Burnley. We lost to Brighton. <sighs> Villa. We've lost to all the newly promoted sides. Wow. Um, comfortably as well. And, you know, before the game, we're going, oh, we're only three points off, what, fifth place and stuff like that. And then... You know, we're saying, oh, it should be a comfortable win today. But you're always thinking, oh, it could be a banana skin. But my word, there was just nothing about us today. I mean, for me, the low point is when you're hearing the away fans chanting sacked in the morning and there's you can hear it echoing around from portions of the, the Everton fans as well. And you know what? I know there'll be some people who will say they, they, they hate to see that. And it's horrible. You know, it's toxic. Who wants to see, who wants to see Goodison Park like that? We're only hopefully going to be there for a few more years and I can't think of anything worse than than seeing it and feeling it like that. It's just miserable to be there. Um, but I think the reason the fans are so trying to be so vocal about it is that a lot of people think that this should have been dealt with a good few months ago. Um, I don't solely put the blame on Marco Silva, although I definitely think that has to be it now. That has to be it. You look at the run of fixtures we've got coming up, and you think, oh my gosh, we literally could be sat in the relegation zone come Christmas. And given the fixtures we've had, we should be up there, like, pushing to be in that top four. Like, it, it's just, I don't quite understand how it's got to this point. Um, just chaos there at the end. Like I said, that every supporter fuming, every supporter who's going week in, week out, spending their hard-earned money um, to to go and watch stuff like that. It was just so difficult. Bereft of ideas, as, as I said, bereft of passion. You never felt like we were gonna do anything. And to see the substitutions as well, I mean, to to, to be fair to Calvert-Lewin, I think when he come on, he tried to make things happen and he was unfortunate and he, and he did improve things slightly on what was just a terrible, terrible, diabol diabolical performance. But when you've got Moise Keane sat there on the bench, he's just scored twice for the under-21s for Italy. You know, that's a lad who's a proven goal scorer. Yeah, not in the Premier League, but he's not really been given a chance. I know we've heard this about him not turning up to training or whatever. But we're 1-0 down at home to Norwich, and you bring in on a right-back, and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, I just, I, I've just had enough. I really have. And to be honest, as awful as it sounds, like leaving the ground, of course you're angry, of course you're... We love our football club more than most things in the world. But I'm almost desensitised from it again. It's been so long since I've felt that that passion and that togetherness and that excitement. And, you know, you have it a maybe of a one-off, but it's just... You just feel like, oh, here we go again. It, I don't know how we've got it. You look, it should be one of the most exciting times for this football club. Bramley Moore Dock, the money we've got, the players we're bringing in, and we're sat in like absolute turmoil it's ridiculous it really is and things have got to change fast they've got to change now immediately but we've been saying this for how long and things don't seem to change it's just so difficult um you know i'm back tomorrow with thank goodness our women are doing well um we're playing tottenham at home tomorrow in the league but that after seeing that gosh your football is just 
it's just become a misery going to Goodison Park. Um, and obviously we all know about our terrible away re record as well. So we're just not having any joy at the moment. And as I said, we've got such a tough run of fixtures um, coming up that I really fear for where we're going to be come Christmas. And I just hope that the club does something about it and we see change. As I say, I don't solely blame Marco Silva. Um, I think there's there's a lot of problems and, you know, the players have got to take some responsibility as well. They're the ones out on the pitch and there was just nothing from them today. But there's just the body language and everything. I'm, I'm, it, I just, just and, and substitutes and there's... It's just so concerning. You're getting beat 1-0 by Norwich and the, the subs that are coming on, the body language. That's why the fans are just at the wit's end and so angry. Say, as fans, Evertonians, they don't come any more passionate than us. And I think we've just had enough over the past few years now. As I said, in what should be a really exciting time, it's just what the hell is going on. Anyway, as I say, I'll be back tomorrow. Um on a positive, uh, to watch our girls who are smashing it this season. We've got Tottenham Hotspur, uh, uh, Tottenham Hotspur at home, but it's at Southport, Southport Mersey Rail Stadium, half 12 kickoff. So it'd be good to see some of you there. They're smashing it. They won at Anfield last week. So proud of them. Um, but yeah, so I'll be there tomorrow and hopefully in a much better mood. But yeah, I've gone on for a little bit now when I said it was my brief thoughts. But yeah, I think we just needed to have a little rant, to be honest with you. Anyway, whatever you're doing, won't be watching match of the day. Take it easy and I'll speak to you soon.